Hey guys, it's Jason with Keeping It Mobile. Today I've got the Huawei P8 Lite. This is a dual SIM mid-range phone, with one of the SIM slots being dual purpose, giving you the option to use it for a micro SD card. I love how Huawei made this dual purpose, as I don't know anyone who uses two SIMs, but you have the option. Or you can add more memory, which I'm always a fan of. The P8 Lite is a 5-inch phone with a 720p screen and is powered by a Snapdragon 615 CPU, 2GB of RAM, and a 2200 mAh battery, with a 13 megapixel camera on the back, including an f2.2 aperture, which is powered by a BSI sensor from Sony, and a front-facing 5 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.4. It also supports all 4G LTE bands within the US. The P8 Lite is a two-tone color all-plastic build, coming in either white with gold sides, like I have here, or a black with silver sides. The back of the P8 Lite has a subtle brushed texture, not quite enough to help with gripping, but at this size, holding one-handed shouldn't be too difficult for most people. On the plus side, it won't show any fingerprints, and it should help hide any small scratches. Along the top, there's a glossy area, where the camera and the flash are housed. The P8 Lite has two SIM slots on the right side. The bottom tray holds a micro SIM, while the top tray holds a micro SIM or SD card up to 32 gigabytes, depending on your needs. Above that is the power button and then the volume rocker. Both have a nice tactile feel and are easy to distinguish from each other, even in the dark. Along the bottom, you'll find the micro USB charging port, flanked by two speaker grills, but only the left one has a speaker in it, which is surprisingly loud and clear, while the right one houses the microphone. I like Huawei's design choice here, as it gives a much more symmetrical and balanced look. On the top of the phone, you'll find the headphone jack, which can use headphones as an antenna to pick up local FM stations when they are plugged in, as well as another microphone. On the front is the 720p screen with Gorilla Glass 3, which I find to be a bit dim and dull if you go under about 70%, and might be a little difficult to view in direct sun, even at full brightness. But overall, still has nice saturated colors and looks pretty good. Huawei's custom version of Android is called Emotion UI, or EMUI for short, and unlike most Android skins, it doesn't include an app drawer which most Android loyalists will miss, but switching launchers is easy, and most of us already have a favorite custom launcher. Look down and you'll notice the soft keys are from Lollipop, however the P8 Lite is launching with KitKat, but an update to Lollipop is promised for the future. One of the cool features in Emotion UI is the timeline for notifications, which shows you what time each of your notifications have come in. If you swipe over, you'll find the shortcuts and see that they have included a flashlight toggle, which is nice because most do not, and it's very handy to have. Another option I love is being able to add a button for the notification shade to your soft keys at the bottom. I know Huawei isn't the only one to do this, but I really wish this was built into Android. If you look closely at the icons, you'll see that there are problems with the ones that have transparencies. They're given a strange background. This is another quirk in the Emotion UI, but can easily be fixed thanks to their theming engine, which is a great plus on this phone. It allows you to change the appearance quick and easy. Another quirk is some notifications in the shade are white on gray, and can be difficult to read. The only way to work around this is by using a theme which makes the shade dark. For a mid-range phone, the specs are decent, and you won't find much lacking in performance. Even a newer game like Mortal Kombat X runs just fine and looks quite beautiful on this screen. However, you might find app loading takes a bit longer if you compare it to a flagship, but the only real performance issue that bothered me was the lag I noticed when hitting the recent apps button. Battery life is really good. I always got a full day with close to 4 hours screen time or above while testing. And that is probably due to using a 720p panel and helped by Emotion UI's protected apps feature. Which, if you ever have trouble getting notifications with an app with your screen off, be sure to check that it's protected in the settings. 
there is a built-in camera shortcut if you double tap the volume down on the rocker. By default it snaps a photo, but you can change it to just open the camera like I've done here. By far the best part of the P8 Lite is the 13 megapixel camera. You use tap to focus, and you can even lock the focus as well as having the ability to lock exposure. In the menu you'll find shooting modes such as panorama, best shot, audio note, watermark, all focus, and my favorite, HDR. Huawei also offers a selection of live filters for effects like sepia or black and white, which will work on the front facing camera as well. There is quite a bit of lag when shooting in HDR, but you are rewarded with sharp, well-exposed photos without too much saturation. For a mid-range phone, I was really impressed with the quality, especially in macros, like this photo of a bee I took, which is actually cropped in. Still, it reveals a lot of nice detail. Even in low light, the photos still retain nice detail. I'm glad to see manufacturers aren't cutting corners on cameras anymore these days. Something you might have noticed is the menu icons refuse to rotate if you hold it in landscape, which might annoy some but didn't bother me too much. All in all, Huawei's hardware is solid, and if the quirks in the software don't bother you, then you'll get a phone with a good camera and battery life. And don't forget, they also offer you a two-year warranty when you register at GetHuawei.com.